Okay, welcome back. Using demo and the tools to learn CISSP. My name is Chen Zhang, Microsoft Azure MVP, AWS Certificate Solution Professional. Now I have already shown you a classic demo uh, by System Center, uh, which is very old demo, but the concept remains the same. Uh, even after seven years, uh, all the components for the monit, for the configuration management, for the VMM infrastructure management, for even the backup orchestration. You see, after seven years, different platforms and uh, softwares, no matter it's closed source or open source, no matter it's free or business software, or even on-premise or cloud version. The concept remains the same, okay? So I call it the essential knowledge. We must know that, okay? And today I will show you a monitor by LibreMS. Uh, I had already uh, set up a, a similar uh, demo environment by Gen3 and uh, uh, different with our previous introduction of Gen3. Uh, today, the Gen3 uh, I show you will be a little uh, complicated, but don't worry, I will go through it one by one for you. And in this environment, I will uh, have I will have uh, ser server sites, uh, one main site here, uh, this uh, little square uh, in the our main site, uh, I said location at Winnipeg, and uh, there is a branch in Calgary. It's So this large square is our corporate network. And uh, uh, for the ISP, uh, I set up two ISP connection. One is the MTS using EGP, uh, connect to uh, to New York City, uh, and another is uh, implemented by Sean Network, so uh, it will connect to Chicago. Okay, but uh, actually, in the real case, uh, we should know the BMTS and Sean only uh, run their business uh, inside Canada, and uh, if need to connect to the ISP in the uh, states, so maybe there will jump to another ISP, another. Uh, BGP. So for just for the demo, I uh, set it uh, as simple as possible. Okay. So there we'll have one, two, three, four, five, five rotors and a one uh, layer three switch and which will connect to our COP network. So you see, uh, for this simple uh, environment, uh, I will implement uh, the HA BGP, uh, but with three different HA scenario. The first one is the uh, loop free. Actually, the loop free is to uh, avoid a loop here. See, there is two uh, ISP router uh, with the EBGP, EBGP connect to our Copnet network. And uh, from here, we got the IGP. So here we have to set the uh, policy to uh, avoid there. If you see this link is down, and uh, R3 connect to R4 by our copnet into internet. So that we should be avoid when we set the BGP, okay. And uh, the second level is the load sharing. Load sharing is not a simple uh, concept, but the how to uh, implement it is we should know. There have some uh, different, uh, some different level, uh, we can uh, take a look at this link. And uh, uh, HSRP is the HA for our uh, router. So we will generate a virtual gateway for our uh, client usage. Okay, so that's the first part. I will show you my environment. And next part, uh, I will use the LibreMS, our uh, today's main topic. Uh, to show you how to use LibreMS to uh, monitor the, this device and uh, make the uh, simple uh, asset management 
uh, it's very simple, but it can correct the inventory automatically. Uh, as we all know, the asset management and the inventory uh, is also remain the uh, concept in our domain selling. Okay. Okay, let's switch to Gen3 and uh, uh, compare with our previous Gen3 uh, demo. Uh, this one is a little uh, complicated, but don't worry, I will go through it uh, one by one. Uh, from the uh, large square is our uh, corporate network in the Canada with two main sites, uh, the main sites in Winnipeg and the branch site uh, in Calgary uh, with the uh, IBGP uh, connection. Uh, and uh, there are two uh, main ISPs connect to the states, uh, two uh, ISP, one in New York City uh, with the 11 network and another in Chicago with 12 network and uh, one client. We can see uh, here is our uh, IBGP and uh, here is the EBGP. Uh, by the way, one benefit to use Gen3 is it is the emulate for the real uh, device. And uh, if someone uh, using a pack trader, uh, the uh, there is a lot of limitation when doing the uh, BGP demo, okay? So if your uh, environment permit, I highly suggest to you to use the uh, Gen3. Uh, the platform is so good, okay? And uh, uh, the first one, we should try to uh, avoid the loop. What is the uh, loop? Just here is uh, two uh, routers uh, from the ISP, uh, R3 and R4. Uh, they're using uh, the serial to connect each other. Here, I will try to uh, shut down this port. So uh, if I shut down this port from the link, so your first impression will be, oh, hey, you stop this link. Maybe there can have a link from the R3 to R1 to R2 to R4. Yeah, by default, uh, it will happen. So uh, you should do is to try to set the uh, access list to prevent this uh, loop, okay? So uh, let me go to R1, to our router. I will show you, I have already made the configuration, so I will just show you the policy, show IP as parse access list. There uh, I have two lists. Uh, one is to permit uh, 11 network, and the, the other one is uh, permit the network from uh, the device itself. So I will explain how to uh, assign this to uh, access list to our device. So I will show you the show run sec BGP. Okay, we can see here uh, the list of one, we will use uh, the route map incoming AS11. So here uh, R1, what you will receive from R3 is only 11. R3 will not give you any other network information, the same as the R2. R2, uh, or the same is the R2. So uh, here I just uh, config the one out, so which means R1 will just give the network itself to R2. R2 will only give R1 network it connect directly. R2 will not give R1 uh, the information about the R4 with the uh, 12 network. So by this, we can uh, prevent the loop. So uh, let me switch to R3. Okay, uh, config T. Uh, we can see here by default, R3 can ping to R4. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, very good. And uh, we will stop the uh, some port config t r3 okay and we will start uh, int s13 shut down let's ping again okay it not work so the parse from r3 to r4 is only from this we will not use this, okay? So if some port is stop, suspect, or shut down, no matter by your administrator or 
incidentally, how can we trace, trace it or how can we monitor it? Uh, I will introduce a very good uh, platform that's open source, uh, LibreMS. It will use the SMP to uh, monitor all the devices and even our operating system. So here uh, I have already configured. Uh, one of the benefits to config the SMP uh, is uh, it can easily uh, classified by the location. Uh, we can take a look, just like the R3 uh, show run set SMP. See, uh, very easy. I can connect the location NYC. So uh, from our device, geolocation or location, it automatically uh, generate the table for us, uh, the Chicago location, the New York City location. Just like the Chicago location, we got one uh, facility uh, here. Uh, it's match, uh, very accurate. Uh, give us the device information, uh, IP information, uh, lots of, we can see some details. Uh, let's give us the device running time administrative information, uh, process, uh, memory, temperature. I will not go through it, but I can show you something interesting. Uh, let's back to our dashboard. It can give you the routing information. You see, from our previous uh, learning of the Cisco, if we want to get all the routing uh, installed to the route table, inside our uh, device, we have to go to the uh, router device uh, one by one and use the shell run commander to read ordering configuration. But here, if we have the management monit uh, platform, which will give us a full picture. Okay, let's take a look. Just here, uh, it give us the OSPF, BGP information, uh, very, very uh, detailed. Uh, real time but here i want to uh, stress out that the, this road uh, as information is the real case uh, just like as 11 can hover uh, as 2000 uh, central link it's one of the largest isp in states so our uh, environment we just mark it uh, 11 as our testing demo okay so don't be confused okay so uh, let me try to shut down another port for you, uh, just like I go to R2. OK. Uh, int uh, F00, shut down. OK. So I have already manually shut down one port uh, from R2. Let's switch to the LibreMS to take a look, R2 to here okay we can see here uh, it have already give us the information that f00 have been uh, shut down it's the uh, its admin status is up to down so uh, it's very very easy to automatically capture the uh, information about the port states and the other uh, information such as VLAN port or the uh, hardware uh, status of our device, okay? And uh, uh, another concept is the inventory. Inventory, we can see here, it can automatically discover all the detailed configuration information, vendor information for us. So it's very good, it's a very good platform, LibreMS and it's open source. Open source means uh, there is a, a community, community to uh, maintain this uh, platform. So we can also contribute ourselves uh, to uh, donate some codes uh, to this platform. So it's so good. I highly I recommend you can take a try if you have time. Okay, so that's implement uh, by LibreMS to monitor uh, the network device uh, in our uh, Corporate and it's free. So the next time I will show you something more interesting. Okay, see you next time.